here in Valencia with a bit of a Spanish connection. I'm joined by two gentlemen that I met in Madrid last year. Um, their film is Solo, um, which is actually filmed locally. It's Jonathan and it's Nick. Thank you for joining us. We've got our producer Thanks Jonathan and hey, director Nick. Let's have the bear handshake. We started with the bear handshake, okay? Right. <laughs> Standard. Really. Who's going to tell us the synopsis of the film? Jonathan. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it sort of mirrors our story, really, because uh, my wife and I have moved to this tiny Spanish village up a, up a remote Spanish mountain here, about an hour and a half away from here. Uh, and it's about an Englishman who mirrors our, our journey, comes to this small village, and uh, in reforming the village band, he kind of falls in love with the village, falls in love with village life, and falls in love with a beautiful girl who lives there as well. In terms of, obviously, some independent films can be complex. It's a simple narrative arc. Absolutely. Um, how did the idea develop, and when did you start looking for your director? Uh, I the idea started when I was sitting in our village square and the uh, village band walked through. I was thinking of trying to think of a, a birthday present for my wife, and they came through uh, the village band, and I thought, how about doing a flash mob of happy birthday for my wife? Wouldn't that be cool? And then I thought, actually, that was too cool. <laughs> and uh, thought, what a great scene that would make in a, in a film. And yeah. so sort of work back from that, not giving anything away, yeah. but how fabulous if that was the last scene in, uh, in a movie. And, uh, and Nick and I, we've been mates for, uh, and I use the word in its broadest possible sense, We've been mates for 10 years, uh, or maybe even more actually. Seems like a long time anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was kind of first choice, but there were, there were th loads of things get in the way when you're, when you're making a film, uh, funding, who's gonna be where, when, who's busy and what have you. So I think anyway, we were both delighted to end up working together. And I'm speaking for him now. He'll well, tell you his I, version. I, I have a slightly <laughs> different memory yeah, of this. Yeah, which is basically, I was clearly the best director of the project. No, <laughs> no, I remember Jonathan coming, talking to me about Solo and saying, I've got this script and would you be interested in making it? I want to do it really low budget, etc." And I remember reading the script and saying, yeah, really like it, but I think it needs a few little changes, inevitably. But was this, sorry, your, this was your first feature? This is the first feature, feature I've made. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I've been meaning to make a feature for about 20 years. We did make a short, by the way. We made a short, God, when would that have been? Yeah. That probably would have been 10 years ago. We've known each other for about 15 in that case. Yeah. 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 So yeah, he's come to you with the idea. So he, then... he came to you with the idea. I, I, I did really like the script. I, th I liked where it was going, but inevitably, if not, you know, as is the case with these things, because it was a relatively early draft, thought, it could do with some changes which we talked about and then Jonathan went away and a, about a month or two later said to me something about I've got this producer attached and she's brought a director on board and I was like oh okay fine that's where it's going and then it, I think it was about six months later went through a whole process creative process whereby it didn't go right with this producer and the other director didn't come on board and I remember going for a coffee with Jonathan and sitting down and him saying, oh yeah, it's all fallen through, it's da da da. And I said to him, oh, it's such a shame, because I'd love to have done that. And he was like, what do you mean you'd love to have done it? And I said, well, I'd love to have done it. I thought it was a great script, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And I think there was almost like a little misunderstanding where you thought, when I said, I want some changes, you didn't, I didn't want to do it. And I yeah. thought, when you found another producer, that's because you actually didn't want me to do it. And men being men, you didn't communicate your feelings God, properly. No. No. God, no. But then, then, <laughs> no, no, okay. Then we I we hugged it out and it was a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> moment. I communicated brilliantly. <laughs> yeah. um. I think one of the things about, about the film and about us is that, you know, working with people that you get on with reflects the film's a joyous film. You know, it's a happy yep. film. Uh, there's no pretending it's anything else than yep. that. And that's what we intended. And uh, not only did Nick and I proper mates, but actually everyone worked on the film. It was, it was, a, it yeah, was actually... Know, you can tell it's a community film yeah, and yeah. you can tell the vision is commercial. It's, you've got a local audience here that are behind the camera that are coming to watch your screening, which is going to be happening. I sent you a message from when it picked up, someone likened it to being a Mike Lee style film, um, which is not but, bad. But happy. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but in yeah, that yeah. Style, it's got no, a no. place, and where obviously I see lots of different films, was that always the intention to, even with the artwork, it is a, I love actually, proper British style, was that always the vision from a commercial and marketing point of view, 
or did you not think about that? No, I absolutely thought about that when I was uh, writing it. Nick might have a different answer, but but I uh, it, yes, it was going to be it was going to be simple. It was going to be. Uh, you know, I was thinking, where can we sell this afterwards too? Yeah, it's no okay. point in us making the most brilliant movie that's ever made if no one sees it. And so, actually, if it's full of you know violence and sex and gore and drugs and all of that, you you limit every time you make those choices. Yeah. You limit that your market. Markets that, and addition makes it that, and addition makes it that. Exactly and then, that. Yeah, that's, exactly that. that. So, um, so we thought, can we tell a story that we both you know. Uh, that we believe in, uh, that we can get properly behind, you know, be passionate about, to use the, the lingo of the, of the business, uh, that didn't have all that stuff in. And, and this was it. And, and as I say, the experience of shooting it, I think, reflects entirely in the film. Um, yeah. I hope. That was, that's our hope. How was the shoot, though, in terms of interview? Feature film, on a location, obviously, predominantly, you, you were used to sort of studio based things prior to the feature, or were you open with? No, not necessarily. I mean, in, in terms of a shoot, in terms of a low-budget film, it was ridiculously ambitious yeah. because we had a cast of many. We had key principals that were actors, um, but we had lots of people in it who were members of the band. If you see the film, you'll understand what I'm talking about, um, who weren't actors. We had lots and lots of people. We had multiple locations. Um, we had part crew and part cast that didn't speak Spanish, uh, that didn't speak English, and I don't speak Spanish. So there were a huge amount of challenges, but it, what it was, everybody was so devoted to it and so easy to work with that it, it, it didn't feel like, if you'd told, if you'd, when I talk about it now and think what we took on, I'm amazed we did it, yes. frankly, but that isn't when because we moment, did yeah. it, it's because it, 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 everybody that on it may have, It so may have well. ruined any future experience because it was as no, easy as it could have been given all the difficulties I threw your way. I'm so it, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was no, it was unbelievable. The, the, the way. Thinking, I'm not sure if you've been blokes going, oh man, I'm proud of that because it shouldn't have happened. And like I was saying something the other day, obviously just uh, referring to ourselves, Steve and I have launched these festivals. This is our second one, it's hugely successful. I've said to people, it shouldn't have been that at this stage because we are a yeah. new group of independent film festivals. But without yeah. the support of you guys and others and new people, we've built something great. And that's what you guys have done on a much bigger scale with obviously oh, a film and that. But yeah. it is, if you're honest and decent people, luck goes your way. That's what you've got and to you hope. make your own yeah. luck. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to think so. No, but we were so lucky. I mean, there was so much love in the village and everything. Yeah. And it's, I, I, there was a typical, it, it absolute, without it wanting to be a long story, it absolutely typified it for me. For the, for the square sequence at the end, which is the big sequence, we went around and there's all these flats on the first story in, in the square. And we were going around with the location manager. When I say location manager, a local guy who helped us out. Yep. And he was saying, tell us which flats you'd want. And I said, oh, that'd be lovely. I love that balcony, it'd be a great shot from there. And he said, okay, I'll sort it out. And afterwards, once he had booked it for us, he said, actually, do you know what? It was really strange because the woman who owns that flat actually lives in Valencia. And she was being really funny about us using the flat and saying we couldn't use it and we just wanted to know when we were getting in. And I thought, understandably typical, she understands what film crews are like. No, it was because she wanted to make sure it was spotlessly clean before <laughs> we as a film crew went in. Wow. And that, I tell that story because that sums up the attitude of the yeah. village when we were filming. Which a yeah. lot of other independent filmmakers don't get met with no. such fortune. Oh, of. not at all. We, we closed roads because we, we had, Jonathan told us that it's sunny all day, every day throughout June, which is a lie, incidentally. <laughs> it's a massive <laughs> lie. Okay, yeah. So we had massive challenges with it with cloud over or we even had a little bit of rain and we were constantly having to shift the schedule about for light, whether we yeah. were doing exteriors. I was going to say to you, the lighting is, must have been a massive factor. It was a massive, it was, it was a real challenge, but Alex Metcalf, the DOP, was absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, Incredible guy, the way he deals with it and very quick at what he does, but also very understanding of what we're trying to achieve. But the point being, we had to constantly change. So we would literally go around the night before and at five o'clock at night and go, actually, no, sorry, we're going to have to do that film now. Can we close that street off? And the local yeah. mayor would close it off, and you'd have the villagers going around to their neighbours going, you've got to move your car, because yeah, they're filming I'll get tomorrow. Jose to get his mum to yeah, move his car, is absolutely brilliant. Can you imagine yeah. doing that in London? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a little, obviously you've got a great lead in it, Tristan Summers. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the casting. The it, was, it was a mix. Yeah? Yeah, it was. I mean, I, I, I personally, if I'm casting something, 
I don't necessarily look for an actor that I think is just going to nail the role. I want to know if they're versatile and you yeah. can direct them. Because yeah. it's all very well if you know, and if you just, if something changes on the day and then they can't take direction, then that's always the biggest yeah. challenge. Obviously, once you're dealing with a certain calibre of actor, that's that's going to happen. But that's the key principle. But yeah, no, you. I mean, you had specifics about you wanted certain looks and. Well, it was the first time I'd cast anything. Well, not that I cast it actually. It was definitely a kind of team job, my my wife included. We, you know, now it's all done. You look at the tapes you make decisions, but then you have to decide, you might think, oh, I've got that one nailed down. And you yeah. think, well, hold on, how's he gonna look with this person opposite him? And this so, person I have to have an it. <laughs> exactly, so it's a, it's, you know, it's a genuine uh, puzzle. Uh, yeah. And then uh, Nick actually uh, met them and auditioned them in person uh, in London, sort of face to face and that, and, and made the final decision. Um, yeah. and, and we are, couldn't be more delighted with all of them, with one of them, uh, uh, we had a two Spanish, uh, well three Spanish, local Spanish actors from Valencia, <coughs> one who we think is outstanding uh, in particular, who had the largest part of all of them, uh, and we'd love him to go. He's, he's, so uh, you're mentioning no names? No, no, no. Well, so he's, yeah. he's, <laughs> a, he's, a, he's a very well-known face in, in uh, TV in Spain, people right. know him, he was in a kind of long-running series here. Uh, and he did such a terrific job, and I, we were really hoping it would catapult him to to working more in Eng in the English language. Uh, right. And who knows that that Absolutely. may that may well come. What's obviously Solo's got distribution, I believe, has it? It has. It's got a little distribution. We have uh, um, an issue that unfortunately our sales agent is rather ill at the moment and isn't uh, has just taken a, a step back, and obviously. Uh, passionate though we are about this film, it's you know the more important things yeah, in life. So yeah. uh, so we, we've just We're sort on of the back burner at the minute. Exactly, um, exactly that. We've it sold it. We've violent. sold it in it Germany. Is. We've sold it um, in China. We've, it's on uh, digital platforms, on iTunes, on Amazon, yeah. uh, some, some airlines, as and well. some airlines if you're yeah. flying to some unusual places. I think Brunei Airlines. <laughs> yeah, Brunei Airlines. Airlines. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so but it's it. still it's still. Yeah, and that's going to happen, obviously. You can leave it a little bit, find Quite. some bits, and all of a sudden revisit it, exactly. and it's the right time. I don't think it's ever going to lose its place. No. Whereas some films, if you're doing a doc about a relevant time or something that's just happened, whereas this, it could be released, a re release. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, I don't no. think you've got to worry about that. I know that's probably not the forefront, but it kind of is because if you're successful, that's good for your career, it's good for you, and then moving forward. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. What's yeah. the plan? Obviously, I know Nick's a busy man and you just come and drink beer in Spain, so. <laughs> But yeah. no. Very <laughs> perceptive of you, Dan. Very perceptive. <laughs> what's, what's outrageous the, uh... slur. <laughs> <laughs> outrageous slur. Yeah, <laughs> slur. Yeah. Um, what's the sort of? Are you looking to do anything together, or could you not? Have yeah, very definitely. Very like? definitely. No, no. We've got a, there's, a, there's two scripts of mine at the moment that we're <clears throat> we're sort of uh, between. One of them is very commercial, but needs still needs work. The other one is. Uh, is less commercial but the script is is uh, people read it and love it and get it and that but with my producers head on the smart thing to do would be to go for the more commercial project uh yeah. but it's a balance yeah it's, it's, what it's, you like i think also there's, there's there's a it, it feels like a little bit of a step up because there's a sense of scale to it and it feels like yeah. it feels like yeah. a more obvious movie yeah um which i think is part of what we want to do yeah, yeah. Yeah. And is that something obviously, so when you're doing solo and you're saying about changes, when you were doing the directing and think, was there any friction between you guys or did it work in perfect harmony or did you have your own vision? I think if you ask Nick that, he'll say. <laughs> <laughs> no, of, of course, uh, no, of course, no, do, do you know what? No, no, I mean, you know what filmmaking's like, and yes, there's a lot of friction, usually. Yeah. That doesn't mean, when I say friction, that doesn't mean people have to lose their tempers and I, I, I don't like directing like that, I don't like film sets like that, I don't think that's a good way to be. Yeah. I know it's very popular for directors to be auteurs and that, I don't agree with any of that. Um, there, there were discussions and there were disagreements. No, but to be fair, but, we've just been having a very similar discussion up at the bar. Yes, he does drink beer, by the way. <laughs> um, uh, to the ones that we had during the during the course of uh, shooting the movie and of editing the movie yeah. about you know kind of how what audiences want how they deal with certain things you know does it need to be that linear can you jump 
those sorts of things, which of course, if you're a film lover, you have with your best mate yeah, anyway. That's so that's part yeah. of the process. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's but, been, but, but if what you're asking, no, there were, there were definitely no major fallouts, there was yeah. no major. And you were and able to have a... They're still inside, basically. Yeah, yes, you, can't, you haven't let them out there. But obviously, creative yeah. flair, I mean, you look at projects where they get rid of... Um, Okay, I've just been informed we need to wrap up as these gentlemen's film is about to start. So that's how you end an interview. Thank you <laughs> there so we go. much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fusion. Thank you.